first in breaking news on the Republican health care bill. And I know what you're thinking. Weren't we done with this? I thought that story was over last week when the Senate rubbed Mitch McConnell's face in that turd like he was a disobedient puppy. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. A dramatic vote this afternoon, <laughs> Vice President Pence broke a 50-50 tie, allowing the Senate Clerk to begin board debating health care. Wow, Trump must be so proud to have finally passed something other than fast food. <laughs> waiting for the Senate to vote on the bill was like waiting for a pregnancy result, but knowing ahead of time that the baby would kill 22 million people. <laughs> Mitch McConnell has been trying so hard to keep this bill going. He's like the single guy in the group of friends trying to keep the gang together. Come on, guys. This weekend, strippers, I got shrooms. Mitch, I've got kids now. And they need health insurance. Even John McCain returned to the Senate after his cancer diagnosis to cast his maverick vote for letting people die. We learned last night that Senator McCain would return to Washington for today's vote less than a week after the senator was diagnosed with an aggressive brain tumor. We hope John McCain gets better very soon because we miss him. He's a crusty voice in Washington. Plus, we need his vote. Who are John McCain? Crusty old John McCain. You know you're loved by your co-workers when you announce you've got cancer and the card with the edible arrangement reads, sorry about your tumour, but we still need two more votes. <laughs> also, last week, a federal judge ruled on Trump's travel ban. Yes, I know, I know. I, I thought we were done with that. Remember earlier this year when Trump tried to block a bunch of people from Muslim countries from entering the US? And everyone went crazy protesting? No, no, that's the, that was the Women's March. And that, no, that's the tax march. That's a Pantera concert. All right, that's just a bunch of ants on a rock. Ah, that's the one, the airport one. All these protests blend together. Well, apparently we're not done with the ban because last month the Supreme Court reinstated it, including restrictions on who could visit family members that are already in the States. Who gets left out is pretty expansive and includes fiancés, grandparents, nieces, nephews, cousins, and all other extended family members. Aha! Very clever, Trump. I see what you're doing. Redefining family so you'll be able to disown your own kids when the shit goes down. <laughs> Donald Jr. who? I only have one child, and that's Tiffany. Now, the Supreme Court has upheld federal judges' decision to expand those family relationships. In a partial loss for President Trump's embattled travel ban, the Supreme Court just moments ago has decided to leave in place a lower court decision that exempted grandparents and other cousins, aunts, uncles as close family members from the travel ban. Way to go, America. A small step forward. Because if Trump had his way, the plaque on the Statue of Liberty would read, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. As long as they're not wearing headscarves, I'm talking to you, beardy. <laughs> okay, what's next? Texas lawmakers are heading into a special session today to again consider restrictions on what bathroom transgender people can use. We need a law that protects the privacy of our children in our public schools. What? Jesus, another bathroom bill. Weren't we done with that? <laughs> you know most bathrooms already implement a state-of-the-art technology to ensure privacy? Doors! <laughs> they even have locks on them. Like... <laughs> privacy in public schools. That's your argument, privacy in public schools. It's 2017. Kids don't give a shit about privacy. <laughs> Every stupid thought that pops in their head is immediately vomited out onto Snapchat. We don't even need Amber Alerts anymore. Just go on Facebook. Ah, it looks like Jessica has checked into the trunk of a burgundy four-door sedan headed west on the 101. Current mood, frowny face. Haven't we figured out already, if you're going to molest someone, a bathroom bill isn't going to stop you? Is anyone really transitioning for the molestation opportunities? <laughs> well, I finally became a woman, now I'm raring to diddle some kids in the girls' toilet. <laughs> oh, oh, didn't you hear? There's a law now. 
Oh, well, f that's 50 grand I'll never get back. <laughs> get me my dick.